If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that Pilot Japan came out with new versions of the Coletto bodies. So basically what I think they are doing is redesigning the standard Coletto bodies. And why might they have decided to do this? Well, ever since they came out with the Coletto N and some similar barrels, they figured out how to do an easier open top. So if you compare opening this kind of top that they have now to the older original tops, this is way easier. In fact, some people would accidentally break their Coletto because they'd be like pushing so hard to get the top off and it would bust right here. And then if you don't have a top holding your refills in, you can't use your Coletto. And trust me, I have had so many emails from customers that they've done that to their Coletto. If you go back through my videos, you will find plenty of videos where I show you how to properly insert refills into a Coletto and other custom multis. But I think sometimes there can be a confusion because the different custom multi brands have different methods for inserting the refills. So of course it confuses people. Like if you take an I plus, you're gonna insert it through the bottom with the slicky ink. And so some people get confused and like try to pull these out. <laughs> so that's why I have made plenty of videos about how to build your custom multis. And so not to go off on a complete tangent, but I will, after I show the new barrel options, I will show you how to properly build a Coletto for those of you who still need to know that. So they made the top easier to open. Great. They also made the grip more comfortable in my opinion. So they gave you a nice rubber grip here and it is, feels really nice. So this one is a new five color barrel, but they also have three color and four color and the th they're progressively slimmer, of course. So like if you compare the three color body to the five color body, you're going to see quite the difference. <clears throat> so if you're someone who does not like thick bodies and you can do without having five colors, you know, consider the three or four color barrel because it is significant. Progressively, it's like this. Make sense? Okay, so let's go over the colors. That's probably what everybody wants to know anyway. Um, by the way, often Instagram is the first place we're going to show a new product. So if you have Instagram, definitely consider following Tokyo Pen Girl so that you're kind of the first to know if you care about that kind of thing. Because it's way easier for me to do an Instagram than it is for me to do a video. That's why it's going to be first on Instagram. <clears throat> All right, so... We have clear, and I'm showing it with the refills here. This transparent bar barrel, I think looks really cool with the refills inside of it. And it's like so, it's just so clear, like what color you might be using. So I've really enjoyed using this clear one. And they actually gave this to me as a sample, this one, which was like pre-filled with refills and everything. So that's kind of cool. It's fun to have someone else pick your colors for you for a change. <laughs> All right, so we've got that transparent body. We have a pearly cream body. It's really kind of elegant looking. The lettering on these is on the pearly ones is gold, so that's really cool. This one's the pearly pink. And then the lettering on the other ones is white. So this one is the navy. 
This one, I think the navy looks kind of grown up, kind of classy looking. And then they gave you three dot ones too. So we've got the dot pink, the dot blue, and the dot baby pink. So they actually gave you two shades of dot pinks. Um, I will just quickly show you because it's the same color options in the four color and the three color, but I just wanna, you know, since the body is significantly different in terms of slimness, I wanna make sure and show that to you. So in my right hand here, I have the four color. In my left hand, I have the three color. And let me just show you a comparison of the body widths here. That might help some people. Pretty, you know, significant difference between the five and three. Hopefully that's not blurry. Let me zoom in here. So we've got so fives over here, four and three. So you can see that. Okay, now, so that's basically the announcement for the new colors. Now, for those of you who want to stick around so that I can show you how to properly insert the Coletto inserts, I'll do that now. All right. So, why don't, I'd like to show you what it looks like with both regular inserts and, um, and like limited edition inserts, which tend to be bigger in terms of the lever. So, let me remove these. Okay, <clears throat> so here you have your empty Coletto. I'm gonna use this transparent one because I think it'll be easiest to see what I'm doing while the refills go in. And do you see that there is a spring for every refill color? So, often my first step is removing the rubber tip on the refill, which those refills I've all been using, but here is an example. So before I insert the refill, I would remove this rubber tip, as long as I think I'm going to be using the pen soon. Now, why might I do that? The reason I do that is because once you get this inside your pen, it can feel like you're like yanking too hard you're yanking excessively on the refill, on the inserted refill to get the rubber tip to come off. Now, I haven't never broken anything one way or the other, but I'm just telling you that's kind of like my pro tip. So I, and I'll show you what that's like actually. So here I have a limited edition tip. Let me see if I can focus on that. Okay, there we go. So, do you see how there's kind of some threading here? I don't want to overcomplicate this and like intimidate you. It's really easy. <laughs> okay, so you're going to insert your refill. You're going to make sure it goes through the spring. It's important not to go on the outside of the spring because you could end up really mangling or bending your spring, which will, you know, can render this whole slot useless to you. So then you're gonna thread that refill in there. I'm gonna close the lid so you can see I have it properly threaded. I'm gonna add, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add in a regular one right next to it so you can see the difference in how they stick out. So see how the limited editions come out quite a bit farther in those knob, the knobs come out quite a bit farther than the, the regular ones. So now if I extend my tip 
and I pull on this rubber grip to remove it, <laughs> I get this kind of like back um, whiplash action that just like sprung my refill back inside the pen, which can be very typical if you when you're removing the things. So, and I just feel like that's like overall kind of harsh on the pen and just doesn't feel good. And that's why I remove those tips first. Now, I wouldn't remove them if I didn't think I was gonna be starting to use the refill anytime soon, because you might as well keep them fresh as long as you can. I mean, if you if you have a Coletto, put it in a drawer, don't use it for a super long time and all, and you know, all your tips are off, you could go back to find that that pen is, you know, kind of like the tips maybe are, coagulated and some and you can sometimes get it running again just by like doing a lot of swirls circles but often it's like you just feel like oh man I just need to start over with new inserts so let me do a few like you know fill a few more so that you get the idea that was really strange these must have just been tops I kept that's another pro tip these you can keep the tops if you pull them out carefully and use them on new refills so that you can you know keep using your limited edition refill tops I've done a whole video about that I believe so let's go in with another limited edition refill There we go. Now, you if you don't get it threaded in, you, you'll kind of be able to tell. It's like sticking out way too far like that. Some people do that and it becomes pretty apparent. Let me try to zoom. See how that one's like obviously too far out? I didn't get it threaded right. So that's the difference I wanted to show you there. Um, and again, you wanna make sure you go in through your spring and you're threaded. I like these colors. I might do, um, I might keep using these. So I'm actually going to, so let me show you how I do that. So say I bought this new regular refill. Uh, whoops, I remove it didn't break anything because <clears throat> you definitely don't want it to break off inside of there you won't be able to use it then I stick my limited edition topper that I had previously removed off another one and you you know depending on what kind of you're going for some people might want to just stick with the same color other people might be going for a certain color scheme on the top and not want that to match up with their ink color so, you know, that kind of thing is totally up to you. And then this green one I'll put with this pink ink. So see how I removed that? This I wouldn't feel like I needed to keep anymore after I did that kind of hack. I guess this is an advanced pen setup <laughs> for you. And so here is my refill properly inserted. I close the top and my pen is ready to use. And I think it looks pretty cool with the limited editions in the top. So in this case, I would be using the apple green that I can see down there. And remember I did, instead of putting a mandarin orange here, I actually put a black, which will be handy to have. But then that looks like colorful and fun. At the top but I can still tell what color I'm using down here if I change up the colors up here so now let me show you just inserting with regular refills so that everyone feels like they are totally ready to use a Coletto so do I have five regular ones yes I do so this will be my color scheme why not okay so these are going to seem like they go in back in uh, farther because the tops are not as bulky, I guess you'd say. So the profile, it comes out slimmer. Up at the top anyway. 
So remember, you wanna go in the spring. You don't wanna be mangling the spring by trying to jam a refill in there and not going through the spring. I've seen a lot of people do it. Okay, and so then there are your properly inserted refills. You'll be able to tell you they're properly inserted because you'll be able to do things like write without it springing back in. Pushing the next one, you know, pushing another one down makes that one go back up. If you're done writing with the pen and you don't want anything extracted, then you just go down about halfway with another one of them. It's another frequent question I get. All right, so here are your new Coletto pen barrel options. I think they did a really nice job considering the top and the grip and keeping it that low standard refill price point that they've always had on those standard Coletto barrels. So I hope some of you get to try these. If you've already tried them, let us know what you think and have a great day.